So this here is going to be a video on how to paint the Mephitic Blight Hauler for the Death Guard. And as you can see, it's in front of us. And uh, it turned out pretty good, actually. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, if you like this or you, you have one you want to paint and you want to look similar to this, please feel free to stay tuned. And we'll show you how we ended up uh, with it looking like this, which colors we used. Once again, like all the other videos we do, it's all GW colors, uh, so it's very easy to duplicate. And if you like videos like this, please feel free to leave a comment, like, or subscribe to the channel. And otherwise than that, we will see you in a few minutes when we start painting our model. So this here is going to be a video on how to paint our Mephitic Blade Hauler. So this is the easy to construct version. It's the only one you can get. And he is primed with... Uh, Wraith Bone Spray. So we use that just because that's the one we had at the time. He's going to have lots of uh, fleshy bits underneath. So you could go light or you could go dark. It didn't really matter. Uh, but in this case, we went uh, lighter. It just means that we'll put a little bit more paint on the armor to darken it up as we go. But this is our first undercoat and we're going to move on to our first color. So the first color we're going to put on our Mephitic Blight Hauler here is going to be some Rackarth Flesh and we're going to do all these fleshy bits with it here. So all of these pieces here up until the little cuticle horn here. All of that underneath the uh, launchers, underneath the uh, carapace itself. And then probably some of the around the front lens and the mouth and the teeth area. So we'll do all of that with some Rackarth Flesh and we'll meet back here after and we're going to use a very watered down layer it's a base paint so it'll get some good coverage it's over a light colored base so it'll really really shine and uh, we'll see how it looks in a few minutes so this is our mephitic blade hauler now that we're finished with our rack our flesh so we did all the fleshy bits on the back the fairly obvious ones we caught the ones on the bottom of the missile launcher or the Melta as well as the front piece there. We caught the fleshy bits where the missiles launch from which is inside of here as well as the proboscis and we did inside the mouth as well. And then we did the back spot here. So we're going to be back in a few minutes when we do our next uh, color. So the next thing we're going to do with our blight hauler now that we finished with the um, Rackarth Flesh is we're going to shade in all of this area and so what we're going to use is some Raglan Flesh Shade. So we're just going to shade in pretty much everything we've done already um, and that should make it a bit more um, pronounced as far as the, the details goes. So we'll do that now. So we're going to use it right out of the pot and we're just going to be very generous as we apply it here making sure it fills in all of the grooves underneath the armor and fills in any of the holes that we were missing. Don't worry if it gets on the other stuff. Like I said, this is the first bit we're doing as far as the fleshy bit goes. Then we'll come back and do the armor and things later. We'll clean it all up. For now, just make sure you get all of the fleshy bits with this. So this is our blight hauler now that the Raikland flesh shade is done and what we're going to do is add a little bit more color. So we're going to take a little bit of Karober Crimson and with that we're going to shade just the mouth, the tongue and these two big lobster like uh, claws here on the front. So we'll do that now just to add a little bit uh, depth of color to that. And we'll just use it straight out of the pot. Once again, doesn't matter if you make too much of a mess because we're going to clean all of this up later when we do all the other colors. And now we're just going to put this on a little bit thicker on just these two front claws here and of course everything, everything in the mouth. So 
So this is what our blade hauler looks like now that the shade is dry. And as you can see, there's definite a difference between the extra crustacean lobster type crab arms and then the actual skin itself. So we set those apart quite nicely with those shade colors. <clears throat> now we have a choice for what we're gonna put over the top. But the Kaislev Flesh I think is the one we're gonna try just to dry brush over all of this area to have sort of a pale but not too pale uh, resulting flesh tone. Now we're just gonna make sure there's not much on the, our brush. And then we're just going to dry brush right over all of this area here like so. You see it's just starting to light up there a little bit. Just like so. So this is our model now that we finished with the Kaisla flesh. And what we're going to do is one more dry brush of Pallid Witch Flesh right over the very top. Just to add a little bit more paleness to the skin. That will make sure we got most of the paint off of the brush. And then we're just going to dry brush that right over there like so. So now that our skin is finished and we're moving on to another color, we're going to start on the armor. And what we're going to do is use a base of Death Guard Green. And we're just going to put that straight onto the armor. Give a nice watered down layer. Just like this. We don't have to be neat around the trim because we're going to do that later with some brass. But we do want to avoid going over any of the skin we painted on the back here. So we'll just keep going at this and we'll be back here in a few minutes when we're finished. So this is our Mephitic Blight Hauler now that we finished with the Death Guard Green Armor. And what we're going to do now is add a highlight to that. So we're going to take a little bit of Nurgling Green. And we're just going to provide a dry brush right over the top of all of that armor. So just like so. And keep it going. Just very lightly tap it there. Well, it's a little bit of a two-tone color there just at the edges. So we'll do the same for the rest of the green. So now before we add a shade to this, because the shade we're going to use is going to go over the entire model, we're going to move on to some of the other colors. So the next thing we're going to do is take this lead belcher, which is a metal color. And with that, we're going to do all of these arm pieces here, all of these hydraulics, all of the uh, tracks, all of the wheels and gears on the inside, the under plates of the weapon, as well as the magma uh, shot is in the front and the other side of the rocket launcher. And then all of these vents, that you can see in these braces throughout the flashy parts of the model. So we'll do all of those now. And some of them may take a couple of coats, depending on their locations. But just something like that. So we'll do all of these models and then we'll meet back here again in a few minutes. Um, don't forget these teeth, I guess you can call them teeth, uh, these two pinchers and these two top ones which are also uh, metallic or, or robotic. So we'll do those now and we'll meet back here after all of that's done. So this is our blade hauler now that we finished with the lead belcher and as you can see we did the eye, 
the two jowls, as well as the tracks and all the gear inside, all of the pistons and straps that are in the fleshy bits, um, the two hydraulics here underneath, the back tire as well as the bottoms of both sets of weapons and then all the vents that are inside as well so that finishes off the metallics here and we're going to move on to our next collar in a moment so this is our blade hauler now that we have finished with all the metallics and what we're going to do now is add the trim which we're going to do with some balthasar gold so we're just going to take our brush using a relatively watered down amount we're just going to start going at the trim that's here just like so so we'll keep doing this do all the trim on the model with our brass color and then we'll meet back here afterwards for the next uh, next step but anyway, we'll do the trim, the top, the side, the trim around the face and the mouth, the trim over each of the fenders, and then the trim over the back plate as well. So we'll do all those. We'll meet back here in a few minutes uh, to see how it looks. So our blade hauler is coming along pretty nicely. Uh, the trim is now done. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, what we're going to do next before we do our shade is to tackle the teeth and the uh, bony proboscises that are coming out the top here. So what we're gonna do with those, are we're gonna put a coat of Xandri dust on them and we're just gonna lightly go over each tooth as well as these here and then we'll meet back here again in a few moments. So this is our blight hauler now that we finished with the Xandri dust and we're ready to put a shade on here. So the shade we're going to use is Agrax Earthshade and we're going to put it pretty much out of the pot. Uh, we may add some water over the armor just to wash it into the little spaces um, and we're going to avoid putting anything on the skin. So we're just going to take some shade out of the pot here and start putting it on all the spaces. Trying to spread it so it doesn't stick to the armor itself but we definitely want it on all of the trim and the teeth. Just like so, make sure we get the inside of all this design here. Make sure we have it pool into all the cracks in the armor. Like so. When it starts running like that, we'll just add some water to wash it off the armor. Like so. In the back is spreading it panel by panel. And just use the brush to move it around so it fills in the spaces like so. We want it pooling in the bottom not necessarily on the armor here just like so we'll do the same thing on the last one making sure to focus on the horns and the the torn armor where it's popping out through because we want to draw attention to those points so we'll do the rest of the, the vehicle and we'll meet back here in a few minutes when it's all done and you can see the finished product. So this is our blade hauler now that we finished with the shade. And all we did was basically use it right out of the pot. Then we added straight water onto the armor to let the shade run onto the brass trim down below. We did it on the front carapace so it pooled on that trim. We did it on the fenders so it pooled on this trim here. And then we're just going to leave it sit and dry. And it'll form a nice grimy layer like you see right there or like you see here on the um, on the Nurgle type design that's on the top so we'll leave all that and we'll just leave it sit and dry before we move on to our next colors 
as we're waiting for our shade to dry on our light hauler, what we're going to do is try to hit some of these little pustules here. And we're going to put a little dab of Angor flesh on each one. So with a little tiny bit of a detail brush, we're just going to touch those spots. Just to light them up a little bit more compared to the rest of the fleshy skin that we have there. Just like that. So we'll do the rest of them. We'll meet back here in a few minutes. Still dealing with our blight hauler. We're going to take a little bit of your shapty bone and just highlight those teeth that we've got there. So just a little bit of a dry brush layer. Just lightly over each one of those teeth. Just like so, just to make that a little bit more brighter. And then we'll do the same on the vents up here. Just a dry brush sort of on those. We'll be back here in a second. The next step we're gonna do on our light hauler is to take a little bit of corn red Color in the eye lens. Just on the front like that. And I'll, we'll also do the missiles here. With our blade holder attached to the base now, we have a couple of more things left to do. We're gonna dry brush these missiles here, which we did with corn red. We're gonna do a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a shade or two slightly lighter than the corn red. So with a, just a dry brush, we're gonna just go over some of those just to create a second tone on the color. Just add a little bit of depth there. Just like so. And finally, we're going to take a little bit of Bugman's Glow. And we're going to go over all of the cables that you see, like these here. going to paint them a little bit more fleshy. And then we're going to come back with the lead belcher and fill in the uh, torn open spots. Just to complete the look. Just like so. See how those torn um, sheathings and uh, you can see the metal through them. So now that our blade hauler is pretty much finished. We're going to clear coat it, but after we clear coat it, we're going to take a little bit of art coat and just coat the lens so it has a glossy finish because we're going to clear coat it with uh, with a matte finish. So we do want that, that eye lens to glow. And we'll meet back here in a few minutes when it's all finished. 
So this here's the final um, appearance of our model. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, hopefully yours turned out just as well. And if that's the case and you, you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like or a comment um, or subscribe to the channel and you'll be alerted the next time we put up another video. Uh, otherwise than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys have a wonderful day.